Greetings from the Raft Row. This is going to be a short video showing you guys our dough barn. Uh, the milk room's on the left. We have the milk room video. You can check that out. And we've got a large sliding door here that comes into an alleyway. Uh, got the alley here. We've got a small kidding pen. Don't really try to use this to have the the doe's kid but it's a good separation pen at night um, we've got our gin pop we've got a little sleeping bench plenty of feeders automatic waterers for more info on that take a look at our nutrition blog the girls have two decks they have a deck here that's covered that goes out and they have a back deck over here where Claire is. They go up, they've got several sleeping benches out there um, and some different dog beds. We don't feed them hay in the summer in here. We do in the winter, so we've got a couple of hay feeders. Uh, let's see, let me zoom in. We've got our mineral feeder here. Uh, the PVC one, we keep loose minerals. The other one to the left of that is for baking soda periodically. We do have storage up high. I don't store hay up here just because of the fire risk, but it just keeps like that big tub there. It's got the kidding supplies, heat lamps, just budding box, that sort of thing. Um, so we've got a little ladder that goes up to that. The ladder's great for just storing my other things. So over here we have two good sized kidding pens. These kidding pens are about four by eight. Uh, one of my new installs this year was this fan. We were kidding in late April and it was uh, not a lot of air circulation back here. Um, so we've got rubber stall mats down. There is a drain underneath this, but I just uh, keep it clean with the stall mats. Um, so these close and that's very good. One of the things that I wish I would have done is I wish I would have put this two by four sheet panel in. Um, I used some four by four hog panel and so you can see I doubled up on the bottom as well as over here. Uh, I had some kids get their heads stuck in there. So that sort of keeps them from doing it. They could still do it up high. Over here, we kind of got our feeding bins. We've got our Lespedeza pellets, alfalfa pellets, grain, calf manna. We've got some pumpkin seeds, a mineral container. Uh, we keep our chaff hay fresh in this container here some fiber hay. So this is just storage when it's not kidding season. When it is kidding season, we make room and we've got room here in the alley to put these things. All of our cleaning supplies, another barn fan. What I do is I leave this barn fan on in the day when it's hot and then in the evenings I turn on this other one which keeps some air circulating. What else? What else? The girls just got fed. So that's our barn. Um, we'll, uh, we've got some fly strips here. We'll talk about that in a future blog, fly control, how we manage that. Uh, this is the area, we call this area gin pop. So everyone's doing good. Well, hope you enjoyed the tour of my barn. Please let me know if you have any questions.